Onik Philippines. Okay, so they lost against Onik. Look how young they are, man. I feel like the younger you are, the better you are, but the less experience you lack. So at the same time, you're not as good, right? Final game of Group 2. The final game. Who's in the lead? We'll take a look at the scoreboard in the end. They have a Uranus. Enemy has Lunix. I already hate the I already hate the Uranus pick here. Um, you're fucking kidding me. I'm actually pausing because I've never seen such a poofy poopy draft from from the red team. They have four mages. They have four mages. Oh my god, I just realized so does blue team. But at least they have, you know, a Lunix that scales a little bit and they have like a yeast. Like Popol doesn't do that much endgame, you know? Popol's more of a tank. They're playing Popol. This is such an interesting game already. All the damage is really gonna come from the yeast and the Popol. I just hate seeing this this red comp. I, I hate seeing Roth. I hate seeing Farsa. The Amon is just gonna get cancelled out. The difference the, the difference is the difference is each team has four mages. But the difference is their core. One is a physical core, and one is a mage core. If everyone on blue team gets Athena's, you're just losing the game as red. There's no way you can win this. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Uranus is going to do absolutely nothing because they're going to buy Athena, and he's going to do nothing. Plus, it's Uranus against Esme. Esme is going to win. I just do not, I do not see red winning this here. Luis on his trademark, Luis Nox. Mm. Luis on his Lunox. Yeah, right no, there. legit. Like, there are stories told of Lunox. I, I just, I do not, I do not see Red winning in this. Blue team draft, no sense. It's a little too much mage. Like, two mage silings, a mage, and then a mage tank. I mean, from both teams. Well, I'll play opponent. <laughs> the last game here, boys. The last game. Gotta love to see it, man. That's just ridiculous. Please don't spoil, guys. Don't spoil. Uranus is already level 4. I'm not sure how this Esme is level 3, but... I, I, I don't know really what's happening right now. Blue team is just not playing well already. They're getting zoned out for Turtle. I mean, there's Selena. Sparse is just right, right out there. They already know Selena used her skills. The Farsa knows she's safe. Wave clears in mid for Turtle. I mean, they're already starting Turtle. Are you letting this Uranus cut Wave right now? So weak against Esme. like to think I would build up the Filipino team. But right now... It looks like Cade understands the dynamics. My god, you cannot let Uranus get farmed. Literally, you're literally playing Uranus versus Esme right now, and Uranus is winning so bad. Doesn't have any stacks, though. Sitting beside Router and lagging? Who's lagging? Gold leads already a thousand. Dream is lagging. It's not lagging on my phone. Sierra cutting every wave, man. I mean, what's happening? Gold leads fifteen hundred. They're just like losing everywhere. So I don't even know how. Look at the Popol. The tower is almost down. I mean, all the gold has been taken off top against Popol and Lunix. Popol, I have to say, early game sideline is not bad, man. And they're just. Not lagging? Okay, good, good. Perfect. Uranus just sitting around farming field day. I mean, gold leads above 1500 now. Still at 1500. Still at 1500. Oh, I, I, I really, really bad play there from Red. Really bad play. Wasting a flicker, trying to get to enemy tank. I mean, 
Greedy, greedy, greedy from Onik. I don't like it at all. The problem is here, this, look at Uranus. Look at Uranus. Look how tanky Hardy he is. He's got like two HP bars on the Esme. Again, they have lower positioning here. Like he's just not, there's no pressure coming up from this blue team. I'm not sure if the mage is just missing everything. I haven't really seen a Selena do anything. Lunix is playing side lane, so she's not going to have that pressure in mid that she should have either. Again, it's just another free turtle. The gold lead is just increasing, increasing, increasing. Uranus is swapping with Popol. Quite surprising considering how things are going for them. I'm not really sure why they're swapping. Okay, finally, finally, Selena waited for the Far City to use her skills. Definitely what needs to happen. First time for Blue making a play this whole game. But again, if nothing's happening and you're sucking everyone in from the side lanes, it's just more farm for the red team. Now Popol is, maybe that's the play. They're switching because Uranus already has top tower and they say, hey Popol, I need you to get bottom tower. Just go bot. I mean, look at his damage. It's just it's disgusting. It's disgusting. And that is the power of Popol because you have four mages. You know this Popol is going to be doing everything. Look at the tanks items. They have mage boots. They have, they, and they're going right into Oracle. They don't really have any defense. So is Esme. They have mage boots, right? Maybe that's why this Popol is switching. They're saying, hey, Esme has mage items. Popol, she doesn't have any physical. Popol, go down to bot and kill this Esme. And that's exactly what's going to happen right now. This Esme is absolutely done for. Force to Puri. They still lose the tower. There's just way too much pressure. I don't know how they're losing so much. This Popol is uh, beastly. Unstoppable. Yeah, Popol. Uh, true, yeah. Yeah, Popol. Popol, they probably said Popol go bot. There's still gold on bot tower. Absolutely genius. I've never seen so many strategic plays. They sent Popol on bot for the gold. They sent Popol on bot against the Esme because she has mage items. They sent the Popol on bot to push the tower too because Uranus no push. Evie, is that even worth? Is that even worth? I mean, at what cost? Yeah, they lose mid to it now. I mean, like, at, 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 at what cost? It's not even It's not even good. I mean, sure, you're killing Uranus. He's not even a threat, really. He's not even a threat. Completely outplaying, completely outplaying Keita right now, Onik. Decent Esme ult. Raphael didn't hit nothing there. Amon, no buffs. Look at that damage. Just absolutely disgusting coming from the Popol. If Blue can take out the Popol, it's pretty much GG. The gold lead really hasn't moved that much, which I'm quite surprised somehow. Red team is, is starting to fall apart here. Blue team is starting to farm. End game though, you just end game. Blue t blue team is gonna win every single time in an end game. I just do not see see red team winning in an end game here. Blue team just buys a little bit of a Athena. Nice, very nice, Selena, but. No hold here now. Everyone's overextended. Lunix already burned everything. Selena's burned her skills. What an absolute nightmare for Blue. No follow up. That's exactly what I'm saying. Everyone went in one at a time. Selena throwing too early. Lunix went in with Selena, but you know, Corey's not here. Like, they're getting pushed. They. Like, look, Selena already threw a skill. Lunix is already overextended. Like, their core is mid. Then their tank comes in late. Their whole team is coming in late. Their core never even initiates. Look at him. 
Now he's coming in. What is Yeast doing? Absolutely nothing. If the core is not going in, they should not be taking that fight whatsoever. Looks like a free lord, I must say. Looks like a free lord. You're in a split pushing too. I mean, he's going to force more than one off. They try and dive this Uranus, two ulties on bot, Uranus full HP and tank, I mean. Yeah, they don't. They can't scale. They have this Matilda too, who are they going to try and dive this guy again? I mean, I don't know. It is lethal again, Blarsky. He gets engaged on, but he has the consecration and the flicker. It, it, it's not even uh, it's not even a threat to him at this point. Exactly, it's not even a threat. It's because they never punished him early. He's just cutting waves 3v3v3v. Three 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 I don't know where the focus was on Keed early game, but if it's not on the Uranus and you get no compensation anywhere else, I mean you're just gonna lose. Somehow Uranus winning against Esme just really, really poor. Decent Esme ult, some damage, but I mean, you know, what can you do? You can't really stay there. Opal has a lot of single target though, so. I see red falling off heavy, guys. Love to see some defensive items here from, from blue. They don't have one Athena? You gotta be kidding me. Blue team not have one Athena. Look at Selena farm. She is roaming disgustingly low though. Disgustingly low. 4,000. 4,000 farm man, 11 minutes. Lag stream? Is it lagging? It's lagging for some people, but it's not lagging for other people. It's not lagging for me. Tank going down. You know when the tank dies, I mean, there's just so much pressure. Now they're down. They're down 7,000. The lagging for you. It's not lagging for me. Look at this Uranus. Just disgusting. No defense. I mean, they don't have any time. I don't know what happened. Like, where the pressure is, but they're just getting smoked. They, they didn't even really make any mistakes. They're just playing too passively. What? Wow. Yeah, Popo and Uranus. <laughs> the issue is there is the Selena is you have you're not hitting your skills and you're playing too passive. That was the issue from Keed right there. They have no compensation the whole game for losing turtles, for losing lanes. There's just no compensation. The enemy team, they're just stronger. They're better. They're hitting their skills. They're playing smarter. Their teamwork's better. And they're playing more objectives. Thank you, Sam, for becoming a member. They just need more experience. They need more experience. That is the last game for the M2 group. Um, or for, for day two. MVP Uranus. It really is a Popo, man. I mean, they didn't even have time to buy Endgame. That team would have got shredded, but they're just not hitting anything in early. They're giving up turtles. They're giving up towers. And for what? There's no compensation. It's just Selena, man. I'm telling you, it's just Selena. And uh, it's just Lunix side lane. Lunix should have been mid that game. You needed some kind of compensation there. Some kind of damage. I'm telling you. Take the Lunix out of gold. Send her up mid and actually have maybe a decent sustainer gold lane. So you have something that can at least last. 